Every month, 32 players battle it out for $3,300 in Faria's monthly cup. 8 gods, 16 qualifiers and 4 invitees fill the bracket looking to become Faria's next champion. The bracket is stacked with the best Faria players from around the world. Household names and rising stars must tackle a new metagame after the release of 10 new cards. The tournament kicks off with Donkey 74 vs Heavy CC. Donkey was July's monthly cup winner alongside a third place finish in September. Heavy CC finished second in November's cup, losing to the reigning champion Modnik. Both of these players slug it out in a tense match that can go either way. The grueling battle between two of Faria's finest is concluded with a 3-2 victory to Heavy CC, retaining his $150 bounty. Up next is Heavy CC's teammate Modnik, who will take on Mayhem. Modnik has become one of the most respected players in the game with a convincing victory in October's Monthly Cup. He also took a second place finish in the August Cup. His opponent is Mayhem, an established French player looking to get his first taste of prize money if he can eliminate Modnik and claim his bounty. Modnik's Yellow Rush dominates the first two games, putting Mayhem on the back foot. It took Mayhem's yellow control to stop Modnik's warpath. Modnik switches to mid-range screen that overwhelms Mayhem with an army of powered up taunts. Modnik takes the victory and continues his journey. Things start to heat up in the bracket as round one and round two are concluded. Monthly Cup finalist Canfic must face Pallorn to claim his semi-final spot. Satyrus claims $150 from Heavy CC and must now take on Cappuccino, a player who has already won a previous Monthly Cup. Two-time Monthly Cup winner Sweetie falls to PewQ. PewQ must now take on the most consistent ESL Cup player, King Dan's. King Dan's leads with his blue-red control deck and the combination of Ice Rock Behemoth and Hellfire seals game number one. PewQ responds with a red rush deck and tries to outpace Dan's slower deck. This plan was devastated by a well-timed Garadan to lock down game number two for Dan's. PewQ isn't going down without a fight and manages to overwhelm Dan's with an onslaught of big green creatures. Dan's responds with a yellow control deck and after a back and forth match, PewQ finds an opening using Huntmaster to slam an annoying gnat next to Dan's orb. The next match ends with an epic conclusion. This is this it, is yep. <laughs> this is lethal. Blood of Fire Wisp is going to take this series as a 25 4 and just one shot PewQ taking King Dan's into the next round. Well played by oh, him. Man. Meanwhile, Modnik continues his journey to his third Grand Finals in a Faria Monthly Cup. Canfic falls to the might of Canada, and Pallorn must now face a champion to move on to the finals. Fan favorite Cappuccino gets taken down by Satyrus, and now Satyrus has to face King Dan's, who is hungry for his own Monthly Cup title. Modnik and Pallorn duke it out for the Grand Finals spot in this month's Cup. Modnik's dominant Yellow Rush takes advantage of Pallorn's slower green-red deck and overwhelms the Canadian. Game number two showcases a yellow mirror and displays some fantastic positional awareness from Modnik. This leads him to being the aggressor in the matchup and Pallorn never gets to catch up. Finally, Pallorn busts out its blue deck to try and fend off the power of Modnik's Yellow Rush. However, the power of annoying that in combination with the Emissary is too much for the blue deck to handle. Modnik books his spot in yet another finals. On the other side of the bracket, King Dan's dispatches of Satyrus to face his teammate in the grand finals. But before we get into that, $500 is on the line in the third place match. Only one player can take that $500 prize, which means one player will exit the tournament with nothing. The match kicks off with a back and forth game involving mid-red and green-red. Pallorn takes an opportunity to be aggressive and is rewarded as he finds what he needs to finish the first game. Satyrus brings out his mid-green deck. Things were going fine until one decision completely changes the course of the match. Satyrus goes for the kill on the Warstorm champion, leaving Cypher alone. This results in Cypher taking control of the board and winning the match. Satyrus may be down two games, but he won't go down without a fight. Yellow Rush comes to his rescue and a well-timed Doomsday allows him to set up a winning board. 
The race is on in game number four, but Satyrus crosses the finish line first as Zealous Crusader ties up the series. Things heat up in the last match with Purlorn trying to race Satyrus with a Dream Reaver. Satyrus has a Shaitan Demon sap in his life, but releases a clutch Doomsday to reset the board. Pillon drops his Wandering Monk to finish off the series next turn, but a Wind Soldier off the top gives Satyrus the win and $500. And now the tournament must come to a conclusion. Two teammates must battle it out for the prize money and glory. Modnik is looking to retain his title, while Dan's is hungry for his first. The series begins with a tense back and forth match between Yellow Rush and Red Blue Control. Modnik finally gets ahead as his Nats are able to collect Feria and help push damage to find the win. The Nats rule supreme in the second game as Modnik is able to starve Dan's red deck of any Feria. Kaleem comes down to support the annoying Nats which is too much for Dan's to handle. Dan's tournament life is on the line and this yellow deck must carry him through the rest of the series. But the pressure is on from Modnik. Annoying Nats and June Drakes close at the final match in convincing fashion, crowning Modnik yet another Monthly Cup winner. Modnik is your November Monthly Cup champion, taking away $1,500 and retaining his own bounty of $150. December's qualifiers are on the horizon and perhaps you could be Feria's next champion. To get involved, visit esports.feria.com to find out qualifier dates, ladder rankings and more information. Get involved, test your metal and claim your share of $3,000.